Oh uh, man, uh, I've been impressed with Trey since we were in New Orleans together. Uh, he was a guy who just trust the process, um, continued to produce on a weekly basis, and he's been doing that this year, I think last year as well. So um, looking forward to you know competing against him. Um, pretty sure he's excited that he'll get the attempt at hitting me. I'm pretty sure he wanted to hit me when I was in New Orleans or something. But um, yeah, he's a great guy, man. Um, FAU guy, uh, I know him very well, and I'm happy that he's having the, the, se the season that he's having. Yeah, you guys have had a bunch of different guys on the offensive line. Now, a few games in, you've had the same five up there. How do you feel like those guys are meshing so far? I think they're meshing well, and uh, it starts with, you know, uh, Munchak. Um, the job he's doing with those guys, man, um, you don't see it that often where you see guys shuffled in. You know, week on a weekly basis due to injuries or different things, and then you know you get a solid five, and they're all just playing well. You know, no matter who's in there, uh, starts with the guy who's running that room. Uh, he's awesome, man. Um, you know, he's a former player. He understands, you know, that the game isn't going to be easy, and that's his message to those guys. And uh, those guys have been responding to his coaching and playing some great football for us. You've been on teams, Teddy, that made the playoffs, had to play well down the stretch. What is the key to Playing with emotion but not being emotional, to not making it too much, but recognizing these things are huge. Man, um, it all it all just it starts with your mindset, um, and it's easy to say, um, you know, act like you've been there before in, in these type of games. But uh, sometimes you have guys who haven't been there, and it's more so like, hey, man, just continue to trust your process. You know, um, we're sitting here with an opportunity to make a push. I think uh, it also starts with reminding guys that you want to be playing your best football at this time of the year. And um, you see that from some of our guys, uh, some guys playing the best football right now. And uh, we just want to keep that going these next couple of weeks. Teddy, Bradley talked about the enthusiasm, you guys coming in early or getting the early lift. Can, can you sense that? Can you feel that energy? Yeah, you definitely can. And um, you know, I said, I think, prior to the Chargers game or something about it, um, how the energy was just different. And um, it's still that way. Um, it doesn't feel like it's week 15 or whatever week it is right now. Um, guys are still bringing that same energy as if it was week one or two. And um, that's exciting for this team. You know, we got a, 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 a great group of veterans, then we got a solid group of young players. And, you know, combining that energy with, and combining that wisdom and the talent, combining it all together, you know, it's a recipe to try to make a run these next couple of weeks. Dave yeah, Nick said every Wednesday you guys do a different in the game scenario, work on two minutes on Fridays or Thursdays. How much have you seen that kind of pay off here during different points of the season? Um, it definitely paid off Sunday. Um, at the end of the half, we were able to, you know, complete the ball, work one of our situations that we work just about every week. And uh, we executed it. We got three points going into the half, which was big for us. And um, it's, it's all been beneficial um, each week that we, you know, you rep it in practice. Sometimes it's like, man, you, you kind of take it for granted. And then when that situation presents itself in a game, you prepare for it. And we were really prepared when it happened on Sunday and uh, we executed at a good level. Teddy, you know, it's always something. And lately, there's something has been, Cortland hasn't been getting the big numbers. Tim Patrick, to some degree, what has it been Have you talked about maybe trying to get them more involved earlier in the game to get them up in rhythm? Yeah, at the end of the day, we win it. And um, that should be the most important thing. Um, no matter how we do it, who has a great game. And I'll point out, I watched the New England Patriots play last Monday. I think it was the first football game I watched all year. Quarterback threw the ball three times. You think anyone was in the locker room pouting? You know, so. I'm at that point, and I'm trying to get guys to understand that it's hard to win in this league. And whenever you come across those wins, it doesn't matter how it happens. As long as you win, you know, we celebrate. Then we talk about it, you know, come Monday, hey, hey, look, can I get involved a little more? And, you know, um, our coaches have been doing a great job of trying to get guys involved. But uh, at the end of the day, man, it just comes down to winning. On the other side of that, they seem to have no problem participating in the run game. So how helpful has that been? Yeah, it's been very helpful. And that's the thing. It's like, man, Okay, not putting up numbers, but you know, you watch Melvin break a run for 15 yards, and you know, Court is still blocking the corner on the sideline, helping Mel get an extra five yards. 
So those guys have been huge in, in different areas. You know, of course, we love to get them going in the passing game. You know, it's a passing league. We want to see the ball in the air. We want to see guys making highlight plays and um, big plays. But, um, you know, however these wins present themselves, that's what it's all about. Teddy Melvin mentioned last week he is thinking about his deal for next year and where he's going to be. Where's your head at, especially in light of a report last week that you want a, a pretty high price uh, salary demand that came last week? You know, um, until it comes from me, it's not true. You know, um, and I think that's what happens during this time of year. You see numbers come out and you try to put a, a value on a guy so that if things don't work out with the team that he's playing on, oh, he wanted too much money, things like that. And I'll tell you right now, like, I haven't mentioned anything about a new deal, anything. My primary focus is trying to help this team win football games, trying to get in the playoffs. The rest will take care of itself, man. I'm, my job is to play football. And all the other stuff, that's from my agent, my advisors. I'm here to help this team be a better football team every day. So is that report last week false? I mean, if it, it didn't come from me, so it's false for sure. Um, like I said, until you hear from me or you hear from my camp, don't believe anything you read. Is it, dealing with the uncertainty, is that easier for you now than it was four or five years ago? I mean, you, you, you've had a stop or two in this week. So. Uh, it's always been easy uh, dealing with uncertainty. Just... Um, from my upbringing. I didn't know what tomorrow would bring when I was growing up. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't know where our next meal would come from, where we would sleep the next night. So, you know, I'm, I'm fond of uncertainty, deal with it the way I deal with it and keep it pushing. What would it mean to you personally to help this team get to the playoffs for the first time in a long time? Yeah, it would mean a lot. Um, not only to me, but to so many guys who've been a part of this organization um, over the past couple of years where things haven't gone so well. So. Um, you know, we don't want to look too far ahead, though. We got Cincy coming in this week. We want to focus on trying to get into eight, trying to get to eight and six, and um, finishing strong. You've been part of a team driving to the playoff for Minnesota in fifteen. What do you kind of learn from that and take from that that you can kind of apply to right now and kind of help guide your teammates? A lot of them haven't been in the playoff race. Um, you know, I just tell them, man, focus on the things that we've done well, and. Um, you know, you, you, you hint on the, the things that you haven't done so well, but this is the time of year where you play to your scrimps. Um, everyone come together, understand their scrimps, understand their weaknesses also, but play to your scrimps. It's not the time to really try to reinvent the wheel. Um, the, the more you can execute the things you're doing well, usually the more success you have. What do you see in the Bengals? What do you see in the Bengals defense? Uh, that's a sound defense. Um, you know, they, they do a great job of stopping the run. Um, they do a great job in communicating and coverage, uh, passing things off, and uh, it's a competitive group. Tim, you talked about on. you do what it takes to win the game, and the run game has been the key, but because the Bengals' pass defense has struggled, what about your passing attack makes you feel like we're ready if that's what's needed? And, uh, however it comes up, man, um, if we run the ball 40 times and throw it five and we win, I'm not complaining. If we throw it 40 times and run it five times and win, I'm not complaining. No, um, this time of year, you just want to win football games. However, t however they come about, just want to win. Right. Thank you, Teddy. Thank you. Thanks, Teddy.